What's up my loves? My name is Paige, this is Paige with Paige, and today is the start of Sufferathon week three. Hello my darlings. So, we are entering into week three. We have had Ren's prompt drop this morning and chaos in the Discord once again. And I wanted to come in and see what the fuck I'm gonna be doing for this week. Technically, I won in the raffle to not do a punishment. We know I'm gonna take the two anyway and just see what they are. If you're new to my channel, Sufferathon it is a readathon that I am co-hosting this month with Amy from A Star Reads, Ren from The Reading Ren, and Erin from She Brown Shelves. So this week is Ren's week and so we are trying to gain access to the games room and oh my god their prompt drop just fills me with joy. Ah oh, these people are so creative. I need to read a book that I've been putting off for over a year and I need to read that whilst being uncomfortable. Predominantly outdoors or in public so that's great because I know what book it is. Serious Moonlight by Jem Bennett. This is on my self-destruct TBR and buddy reading this with Mel and Crystal this week. So hopefully I can just blast through it while outside sometime and just do something. We are going for a drive 45 minutes away tomorrow so I might actually be able to sit somewhere and read for a little minute maybe. I don't know. So we'll just see how that gets along. Or I'm gonna have to have like designated times that I literally go out to read this week, which could be something different. I am finding with Sufferathon, we all made our challenges something that we also personally find unpleasant. And it's really interesting seeing that I actually really struggled with my own challenge, which was reading for a designated amount of time every day. And then for Amy's, I still struggled with it, but not as much because it was just reading for half an hour in the morning. Whilst I don't feel like that was the most enjoyable experience because I had to completely alter my morning routine to be able to fit that in, I did succeed with it five out of seven times instead of four. So, you know, <laughs> you need to take two punishments. And for Bren's, hopefully, because I will be able to get my book done as my challenge book where like they will both be done. I just have to get my ass outside because I don't normally read outdoors. I don't go out in public and read my book. I can never get comfortable. So why would I do that? I'm gonna load up the punishments. Nope, that is my vlog for last week. And we're going to dive on in and see what I need to do. Why can't I hit the right goddamn button? So I've got my D10. And so there is, there is, there is definitely punishments that I do want over others. It's, it's literally a 50-50 chance of the ones that I would be happy with. And I'm rolling twice. I am setting it for myself that I can do this until the end of the month. So punishment one will be and punishment two. Please pray for my sanity. So here we go. Punishment one is an eight and punishment two. Oh, oh no. Is no, no. Do you see these? They are tears. <laughs> Amy, you made me cry. I don't I don't know how I'm going to do this. Oh god. What happened? So, for challenge number 8, is to read a low-rated book while drinking coffee from your local service station. The cheaper the better. Which is great because I don't drink coffee so I have to find a cheap alternative from a service station. For tea? <laughs> uh, and the other one is bagel but there's no cream cheese. <laughs> read a highly anticipated book but make sure to somehow incorporate one of your biggest Bookish pet peeves. Oh, no. So that's doggy of the pages. Get water. 
a copy that has water damage. Read while eating something messy. Read with the dust jacket on. I can't even, I think my biggest pet peeve is when you turn the page and you split it. I'm not gonna ruin my arc. Oh God. Oh, oh no. I shouldn't laugh at this. As hard as I am, but that's very entertaining. So my lowest rated is actually The Seed Collectors by Scarlett Thomas, which was a gift from a book fiend named Mel. The next one is the, the Turn of the Screw and Other Ghost Stories by Henry James, which I bought as a Penguin Cloth Bound Classic for Ash. Which by Finbar Hawkins. Don't really know too much about it. I've been fluctuating wanting to unhaul it, but the cover's really cute. Court of the Vampire Queen by Katie Robert has a 3.42. I'm not surprised. I know people are not enjoying it and I'm totally fine for that. And then an Arrow to the Moon by Emily XR Pan has a 3.45. So those are my five. Oh God, I'm not gonna do Court of the Vampire Queen. I, w I want to, but I also have a lot of other Katie Robert to read. It would get me up to date if I read that in Cruel Seduction recent and Hunt on Dark Waters, which would be super fast. I'm not really wanting to read a classic at the moment. Which one of these is? It'd be really cool to import this into my entire TBR. I know that it would fluctuate, but at least it would give me something interesting to work with. I mean, at least it's getting one off my older TBRs, which is great, because I think I'm still working on 2021s and needing to read that down for my goals. Thank you, Mal, for the gift. I'm sorry that it's my lowest rated. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? How am I gonna pick this? So I got this. This is probably gonna be read next week, but it could also be other ones. I haven't decided yet. Um, and then anticipated. <sighs> oh, I don't, I don't. I'm in pain. This is, this has broken me. I got so distracted by just being so unprepared for life. So I was going to look up the audiobooks for each of these and see how big they are. Ah! Erin! Erin, 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 Erin! Are you really reading Girl Made of Stars? <gasps> I'm so excited. Yay. I thought there wasn't an audiobook for Serious Moonlight and wanted to cry. <laughs> because... I'm, I can read decently fast, but it's just easier having the audiobook. So, so yeah. So I think already which is going to be out. Oh, okay, so six hours for which. Let's see what you've got for me. Oh God, for the love of God, please have an audiobook. No, no. Great. Okay, so with that narrowing of deductions, we're going with which because that is the only one that has an audiobook. <laughs> Great. So these are my current two reads for next week. I need to throw an anticipated release that I don't mind damaging. So I just did the math and I need to read 232 pages a day this week to be able to complete my TBR that I would like to. So that will be Serious Moonlight for the actual challenge, Witch for lowest while drinking shitty coffee, Cruel Seduction for anticipated release, and I will figure out how I accidentally fuck that up later. Hangman, I have like 200 pages left of that and hopefully the Dawn Chorus, which is just a 92 page short story. That's it, that's it, just just that. I'm so fucked, like I'm literally so fucked. But that's all good. It'll be great, it'll be fine. Everything's fine. Well, the Discord is going off shops, which is fine. I am going to go get my headset and finish editing the vlog for this past week for Sephirathon. I'm not going to try and edit my Friday video at the moment just because I'm not sure what I want it to be. I've done, I have filmed the Truth or Dare tag, but I'm not feeling joy about it. So I'm thinking on what I want to do. But I do also have 
this stack of crap that uh, I would like to do something with. So since it's 10 past 11, I'm going to get my fucking ass into gear and finish off some shit. So first and foremost, I'm gonna finish editing last week's vlog. So that is done and dusted. I don't have to think about it. And then I'm going to read my book and do some jigsaw. Yes? Yes. All right. I've got this, it's fine. I've had my existential cr crisis. We're great. I'll check in with you later. <laughs> Fuck. Hello my darlings. So it is now 20 to midnight on Sunday the 17th of September and I just want to check in for the day. I ended up collating all of my punishments and pages that I need to read for the remainder of the month and how I wanted that all to look. Obviously I will be adding any punishments. I realise I need to be back on my bullshit of reading 225 pages a day. Hey. And that's to get through this week and then I've actually scheduled out next week's as well. Sans punishments. So pray for me because that's a big week with uh, three books and the same amount of pages as this week with five. Bye. I have read today. So the first thing I did was finish off Hangman by Jack Heath and I'm giving this five stars. This was really captivating. And I'm not sure if it's five stars because it's still novel for me. I'm not really in the thriller genre, but I was fascinated by Timothy and his desires and urges. I was grossed out. I was uncomfortable and it was a really great reading experience. I said to Ash, my gut says give it five stars, but my brain's like, but you go off enjoyment and you didn't enjoy sections, but it is so well written. It is so engaging. I could not put it down. I was mistaken though, in the separate cases. It is not a collection of cases in this. There, It is an ongoing thing where we refer back to things that he's done earlier in the book, later on. And I did not expect the ending. There were moments that I was just going, what the fuck, holy shit. So I read this while working on my jigsaw puzzle, which I'll show you in some B-roll. I did that. And then I was like, cool, I'm on a roll. I'm in the mood to read, so let's pick up my next book. So she picked up Witch by Fimba Hawkins and got 202 pages in. Forgetting that this is my punishment book that I need to read this while drinking shitty servo coffee. Or my equivalency because I, I can't actually drink coffee. That's going to be eventful. So I figured I wouldn't read any more tonight. It is also getting significantly later and I want to go to bed like now. I won't continue reading this until I have managed to acquire a servo coffee of some description. I'm so concerned, but going to be very entertained. So far, it, it, it reads very middle grade to me. There are beautiful images about it, which I've only just now noticed because I wasn't reading along with it. And I then also finished off my puzzle. So that's when I stopped. I have gotten 58% of the way into it. And yeah, it's, it's a good read. It's definitely the right palette cleanser after this. It's basically just her trying to avenge her mother's death. She was penalized for being a witch. And wow, those stars are really cute on the cover. I didn't realize they're actual little shimmery stars. Anyway, this cover, stunning. Yes, I'm pleasantly surprised. I didn't know how I was gonna get along with this considering it is so low rated, but I think this was a smart choice. I've read 432 pages today, which is great because that actually puts me over where I need to be for my total for tomorrow as well. Hopefully I can keep the momentum going so then when I'm back at work, I still have that because she's making choices. <laughs> I hate everything. Serious Moonlight, I need to read for Ren's challenge and the book this week and I need to read this outdoors. I need to plan this strategically. To be fair, I could actually just go read this before work every day. I should be able to get through this. I'm just apprehensive about having to read it all outdoors because and in public because I don't like being outdoors near people and this is needing to be there for two hours I think is the audiobook length. 
And then the other thing that I would like to read this week is The Dawn Chorus by Samantha Shannon, which is for Bookstara, which is hosted by the wonderful receptionist Amy, myself, and Daniel from Bookcara. I want to get to that. Thank God it's a 92 page ebook, so I might just need a night to slap myself silly. But my existential crisis this morning. Well, it's Opposites Day, so here's something very serious. The dot on top of letters I and J is called a tittle. Come back anytime and say, do something silly. Ash, I'm traumatized. I a brain has malfunctioned. Here we go, kicking back in in three, two, one. So my existential crisis earlier was around my bookish pet peeve and not really being able to think of one that really bugs me and then the thing that bugs me the most is accidentally tearing my page while reading but then, then, Erin messaged the group chat in preparation for their rolling of the dice kindly reminded me <sighs> of the fact that what's really irritating for me is when an, when a book doesn't have an audiobook because the slug that was reading prior to the or day of fall and night with my eyes I still love that book but holy fuck I wish I had an audiobook for it and that really does irritate me more. So, we're shaking things up. We're not gonna go with Cruel Seduction and tear the bottom of it, if need be. I'm gonna read my arc on Hunt on Dark Waters by the wonderful Katie Robert. This is a very Katie Robert heavy month and I'm not mad about it. If I'm gonna be at the Sufferathon Hotel, I might as well take as much Katie as I can. The thing is, this is an arc that I need to read because Ash kindly got it from his work specifically for us, me, and I would like to get a review back before it comes out, which means I can't listen to an audiobook because there isn't one available. And I'm going to do it because obviously it's an arc, I'm super privileged to have this, I am so beyond excited to read it. But uh, yeah. It also does mean that I'm suffering in the fact that I don't get that beautiful narration of Katie Robert in my ear holes as I am enjoying this. So, that's a fucking damn shame because the audiobooks, for the most part, there is one narrator that he tries to do the female voices and it just mm, doesn't work, especially during the sex scenes. It's like, oh god. But for the most part, work a treat. And I won't have that little treat. So. I am so, so, so thankful to have this and I'm so excited to read it regardless of not having the audiobook, but I feel like this fits better because it just makes more sense and then I also don't have to unnecessarily damage my book because I'd rather eat stuff and get that shit on it, but that, that's not a peeve, <laughs> you know. I, I'm concerned when library books have mysterious stains, but if I know what I've done and I've just got shit on it, then okay. But yeah, it's more when I accidentally tear the book, not purposefully tear it, that's annoying. No audio book, definitely more annoying. I have this that I'm going to read this week, and yes, it's still, I'm so anticipating this. I cannot wait. Taglines for if you run you will force us to hunt you. You will force me to hunt you. Dark paladin pirate chaotic bisexual witch. Arguments that end in kissing. Stealing jewels from a murderous vampire ex. And a portal fantasy. What more could I want? Honestly. <laughs> I'm so excited. So I'm gonna do that and I think this is a better choice for me that is the decision that has been made. My existential crisis is over. So I just need to kick my ass into gear and read some goddamn books. So I'm really happy that I've got Hangman out of the way and I'm going through which I will go get my coffee tomorrow. I don't even know what to do. I don't know what our service stations offer in terms of coffee. I don't know. Do I have a 7-Eleven near me? That would probably be the shittest. So 7-Eleven have hot chocolate. <laughs> oh, that's going to be bad. All right, so that's decided. I'm going to 7-Eleven tomorrow and getting a hot chocolate. I did my first day of bullet journaling as well, so feeling really good about that. And yeah, 
tomorrow we're traveling and it's gonna be great and I've got lots to do and I need to go to bed so <laughs> I feel so much better now that I've got myself all sorted to actually do the things so I know exactly how this week is looking and then next week is also going to be a big week but it'll be fine it'll be fine I'll get through everything and I'll only have the ten thousand dollars of January that I have to worry about as well as my other two books that are on my TV it's fine I'm not gonna fail pick pongathon I'm not doing it I promise you that so yes with that I am going to bounce my ass to bed and I will check in with you sometime tomorrow I'm not sure when why who what how but I'm also very excited for you guys to see it'll come out before this one but uh this video idea 13 books there it's gonna be fun alrighty I will chat with you on the morrow my darlings so it is now 10 past 11 on the 18th of September and we've had a really good morning so we got a call from Ash's appointment that it's not going ahead the guy had a family emergency so we're not traveling today so I also forgot that I had a work meeting this afternoon at four, so I'm glad that I can just go to that. I've decided that I'm going to do home stuff and just get the house into a nice spot and then around one o'clock one two o'clock i'll head down to town and start doing all of my town things before town things before i have to go to the work meeting my camera battery is flashing at me which is fine we've got a lot of bits and pieces so i'm gonna do a couple of things around the house get myself sorted and i'm gonna be starting a video that involves these which you will have already have seen Hopefully that should be coming out on Friday if I get my ass into gear. But yes, I'm just excited to do the things. So I haven't touched a book this morning, mostly because I'm needing that 7-Eleven coffee before I continue with which, and I need to be uncomfortable to read the other one and the rest of it. I need to have an e-book, so I have to physically read it. Good fun. But today is going to be very adventureful and it's nice having my morning back. Whereas I was like, go, 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 go. And now I'm like, ah, we can go. So yes, I'm going to go do the things and check in with you when I've made a decision and or an action. Hello, my loves. So it is now 10 to 8 on... Monday the 18th of September and I've been home for a while. Ash and I had such a productive day out and about which is a fantastic but I just remembered that I need to shower and wash my hair and I also need to read a lot more than what I have currently done because today I have only read 34 pages while we're out of Serious Moonlight. I have decided that I'm not going to go to 7-Eleven and get a hot chocolate to continue with which I'm going to continue drinking this horrendous Yorkshire tea that has been sitting in the tea bag for two hours. <laughs> it is stone cold and then reading my book. But the thing is, I need to go shower and wash my hair. So the tea is going to continue to sit here. Right now, this is what we're going with so I can continue and read this because I can't go outside for this and then I don't want to start another book at the moment. So plan of attack is Finish watching a YouTube video and finish this horrendous tea. Chair and wash my hair, make a fresh one of these horrendous teas, and then sit and read my book while my hair dries. So, Ugh. choices. Anyway, I got everything that I needed to while we were out, so that was great. I have started a the video idea and I did want to get through one more lot tonight but I think with washing my hair that's I don't then want to film the clip after that so I'm gonna just work on stack two tomorrow night they sell many pages so many that also includes earthlings tomorrow so that's gonna be interesting but I've had a good day and I have read the equivalency of 90 pages just for that video so jolly good anyway I'm a go cry 
and uh, finish this video while the shower heats up and dive on into it. But Ash got me to wear my flowy dress while we were out and about today and it was really nice. And then we went to work for a meeting and that was very chill. Very happy and then he made sausage singers tonight which were delicious and we watched an episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. So I have watched an episode yesterday and today of it and I'm really enjoying it so far. So that is super cool. I'm really, really enjoying those episodes. It's very entertaining. But yeah, that's basically all I had to update for the moment, I think. And I just wanted to come in and say like I was wearing something pretty and I was intending to film, but I need to shower. So I'm gonna get changed into my comfy clothes. Okay, I will check in with you with new shitty tea and wet hair. Bye! Hello, so I'm in bed with shitty tea and terrible tea and my book. So I'm gonna dive in and continue reading this. I'll check in either when I'm going to sleep or hopefully have finished. Hello my darlings, it is now 6pm on the 19th of September and I'm home from work. I have an absolute cruncher of a headache and I'm really uncomfortable. <laughs> Last night I started the dawn chorus and got 18 pages in I think, somewhere around there. And today I managed to read a little bit more of Serious Moonlight while out and about, but not much. So we're getting there, but it's going to be a slow pro plodding way through. Ash is still going to be at work for a hot ass minute. And I know that I should film the next section of the drive chapter video, but my head is just aching. So I really don't want to, but I should. So then it's done. And I realize that tomorrow I have I'm not getting home till late and also need to cook so that's going to also be delightful so yeah i'm just a little bit flat today it, it wasn't a bad day at work i got a lot of shit done but i just i'm in pain and that's not fun <laughs> yeah i don't know what to do i'm gonna go take some panadol it's actually that bad that i'm going to take something for it and i'm going to attempt to start reading some of this triad chapter shit and just see how many books I get through before Ash comes home and I'm just gonna persevere because it'll be fine once the Panadol kicks in so I also would like to start on either continue with the Dawn Chorus or start on Hunt on Dark Waters. I'm thinking I might just keep to Dawn Chorus for the moment till I finish that because it is such a small thing and then I can devote later in the week to this. I think I'm definitely going to struggle to get Serious Moonlight finished before Sunday. My mum's also up on Friday, so <laughs> like I need to be out of the house as much as humanly possible and I just I don't want to read in the mornings when I'm at work and mm. I don't like reading on my lunch break because I just want to zone out. So ugh, I know I'll get it done. I might be taking my punishment though for not. Oh and it will be double because it's the challenge. Oh. I believe in myself. I'm gonna go make myself a cup of tea, get some Panadol in me, and start on the reading for tonight. That is this challenge. I'm really excited though. It's 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 gone well for the first round, and I'm curious to see how the second round go. Let's go do that so then my brain can function again, and I will check in with you when I've made progress on something, whatever that may be. Hello my darlings, just quickly checking in because I'm heading to bed, it's 11.30 and I broke myself reading Earthlings for the challenge today. I managed to get to 29% of the way through the Dawn Chorus, so I think that's like 27 pages and I got up to page 88 of Serious Moonlight today. So making progress-ish. I am still technically ahead of my 250 pages per day goal, but I don't know. For the rest of the week how this is going to go so i really need to prioritize before work at work edit when i get home like a crazy ass motherfucker as much as humanly possible so fingers crossed that that will go okay um, and yeah so that's all for today i i have not recovered from earthlings so i will check in with you tomorrow Hello my darlings, it is now nearly midnight on Wednesday the 20th and I haven't 
read much today. I've read a grand total of 20 pages of Serious Moonlight for breaking down the amount of pages I need to have read this week. I would need to be sitting at page 900 and I'm sitting at 880, which is credit to how much I read earlier, but I'm concerned. I did manage to edit most of Friday's video, so I'm super happy with how it's looking. I feel so good about it and I'm very entertained. So I have two clips left of that. And then, yeah, I'm thinking I'm not gonna have time to read and edit while my mother is up on Friday. So I'm just gonna try and read as much as I can over the next couple of days. I'll do, finish those two clips and then we can go from there. It's been an okay day, but I'm ready to go to bed. I haven't read jack shit, so not much to update on. But I did go for my hair consult today, which I'm super happy with. And I had therapy this morning, which went excellently. So very happy with that. But in terms of the reading stuff, not so much today. But yeah, it's okay, we'll try again tomorrow. And I will check in with you then. Hello my darlings. So it is now 6.30 on the 21st of September and I am so happy. I've just finished editing the video that's going out going up tomorrow. I do need to schedule that like as soon as possible. So it's currently exporting and it is done. Ah, uh, I'm, I, I, I know it's not gonna be a popular video, but I'm so chuffed with it. Today I have read, I think 20 more pages of Serious Moonlight on my lunch break. So I'm actually now cracked where I needed to be for yesterday. So I need to read 225 pages now. I'm so fucked. So what I'm gonna do is I think because I need to be reading this outside or whilst uncomfortable, I don't want to do that. I am going to read The Dawn Chorus by Samantha Shannon, which I need to read and is an ebook, so I can just dive into that. And then after I finish that off, dive into Hunt on Dark Waters by Kelly Robert. So I'm hoping I can fly through and just love this so fucking much that I just want to keep reading and can't put it down. And then tomorrow continue chugging away at this beastie. I wholeheartedly don't think I'm gonna get this finished because my mum is up until Sunday and so oh, she's coming up tomorrow so and then Ash has a friend event so we're going to that and I just I don't I don't have time <laughs> and I want to edit my vlog this vlog as well to be able to go up and it's just yeah but, but, the chaos <laughs> so much so many things so much is happening and uh, my little brain is a little overwhelmed at the moment, so I don't think I'm finishing my CVR for this month. I just have too much on and not enough brain cells to finish. I do get a package which I will open when Ash is home because I'm really excited to see what it is. But yeah, for Serious Moonlight, I still have another three hours of reading it outside, so I don't think that's gonna so that's where I'm up to. And I just, I've got tea. I'm finishing off a YouTube video and then I also need to make dinner. And yeah, we've just got so much going on that I, it's, it's not gonna happen, but that's okay. I'm happy to fail. <laughs> I am going to finish this video. I'll probably watch the next one and then dive into my digital. I've got a lot of things happening but i'm glad this video is fucking done i am so excited for everyone to see it but also like my brain juice has exploded everywhere and it is taken way more time than i thought it was going to but i'm impressed that i managed to get it done in a week i'm going to fuck off and go do things and i will check in with you when i have an update i'm still really enjoying serious moonlight it's just a very way contemporary and i'm like that is a way contemporary <laughs> hello my darlings so ash is home uh he's just eating dinner <laughs> It's a hand! But I was waiting for him to get home before I opened this. We think we know. It feels really weird, it, but... It doesn't feel... I'm assuming it is just what I'm ordering. Just packaging, yeah. Yeah, because I wanted to be home to Ash to be home so I could look at it and... <laughs> Custom shock mount for the Yeti, Yeti Nano and Yeti X USBs. So this is to hold my microphone daddy. This is just the shock mount. Oh, well that explains why it was so cheap. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's all you needed. Yay! The thing was, it made it seem like it was more than this. Yeah, because it had the arm in the picture. 
So if I ever need, I was also worried about having the boom arm at the moment, given where my desk is. Yeah, we need, we need we need you a new we need to get you a new desk before we worry about a desk mount. Oh, yeah, but now we've got this, and that's the silver thing on yours, isn't it? Correct. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I thought this was going to be the mount, um, all of that with shock mount, but it is just a shock mount. But that's fine because I have it on the desk, and so that will actually be good because I can be quite ferocious when I'm typing away. I am a little bit sad that it's not what we thought it was, but. I'm still just absolutely stoked that we've got this all set up and it's going to be fabulous. And I've been like wanting to live stream, but I haven't had the capability. I swear you haven't had the time. Yeah, and I'm not gonna have the time until maybe Sunday or Monday, I might have an opportunity to. Yeah, I can keep your mum distracted. Well, mum leaves on Sunday. She really isn't up for long, is she? No, it's Friday afternoon, all of Saturday, and then that's it. But yeah, so. And I'm going to go do something. I don't actually know what, but I'll check in with you when I have a reading update at least. Good morning, my darlings. It is now nine o'clock on the 23rd of September and I didn't check in yesterday. One, because my mom was here and then Ash fell asleep on me when I went to go wrap up my day. Excellent. I did read things, but the kettle's just finished boiling so I can make my mom a cup of tea, but I'm making her a cup of tea because I got shitty servo hot chocolate. So this came with that much chocolate powder in the bottom of it that they all just sit on top of one another and you pull the foil tab off. You can then put hot water or hot milk or both into it and you make your own hot chocolate. It smells disgusting. Just putting that out there. So I have technically read the book that I was supposed to drink this with but I had shitty tea then. So I've had two shitty teas and a hot chocolate. Amy, I love you. It's extremely hot. I'm gonna have to let that cool down. I'll make mum a cup of tea first. <laughs> so tea has been acquired for my mother and I've taken the lid off, so. <laughs> it's not great, but it's not bad. If anything, I think it's the milk that's more the problem than the hot chocolate, so. Could have, it could be worse, but I'm glad that it's not because I can actually finish drinking this. In terms of reading, yesterday I read up to page 160 in Serious Moonlight. The prompt drop drops at 6 a.m. tomorrow. Ah, that, that's funny. <laughs> and the other one was starting with my punishment of anticipated release and bookish but with a bookish pet peeve and I managed to get 74 pages into Hunt on Dark Waters by Katie Robert and I'm enjoying this so much but one of my pet peeves is not having an audiobook and I also managed to crease one of the bottom pages when I put it down momentarily and that is actually one of like my bookish pet peeves is when you accidentally nudge those pages and they split. Yay! I wasn't intending on doing that but it happened. Yeah we're getting there. Today we have a day of doing things, so I don't know how much reading I want to get done, <laughs> let alone could get done. I'll just see how we go. I'll probably check in tonight with whatever unfolded with today. I'm gonna go set up my bullet journal for today and figure out what I'm doing and who I am and uh, continue drinking. Shitty hot chucky. Like, it's literally called. That's the most fucking Australian thing I've ever seen in my goddamn life. I know, isn't it so Aussie though? Yep. Woo! Hello my darlings, so it is now 11.30 on Saturday the 23rd of September and I'm just coming in to wrap up this vlog. So today I actually managed to finish Serious Moonlight by Jem Bennett and I gave this four stars. It was a really cute contemporary and I just had a lot of fun with it. I didn't take it too seriously, it didn't take itself too seriously, but also dealt with some really hard subject matter and it was just very interesting the way that it was all, it all came together. Obviously there were elements to it that didn't really sit 
right with me as an adult <laughs> with these like it was more actually new adult than young adult because the protagonist is 18 but she's lived, lived a very sheltered and protected life her naivety made her feel younger than 18. I'm gonna change it on my spreadsheet to no adult because there wasn't the steamy scenes but it was definitely not PG which I appreciated and it was just overall the mystery elements of it were really sweet and the writing was really good. I had fun with it. I did listen to 50% of it in public and then the other half I just had to find ways around it tonight to make myself uncomfortable so I sat in a really uncomfy chair, I didn't lay down in bed, I didn't sit on my couch, it was mostly sitting upright that I was listening to it and sitting at my desk chair which is not the comfortablest of chairs to sit in for an extended period of time. Got that finalised and I went to read some more Hunt on Dark Waters and I just, I can't do it, I can't read it anymore tonight. I've started to get quite a bad headache and I've taken my sleeping meds so I'm like huh? <laughs> so I will finish that off sometime next week but we do have Erin's prompt dropping tomorrow at 6am and I'm so excited for the last week of Zafirathon. It's gone by so quickly and I'm just so surprised but so thankful. We've definitely had a chiller week. I think we've all just had stuff going on and whilst Amy has been running amok in the hotel, <laughs> a lot of the rest of us have played it pretty quiet which is fine we just had life happen so I am feeling really good about this week I still probably will take a punishment next week just because I didn't read for the entire time outside I'll just take a punishment just for shits and gigs and pray to god that the challenges work in my favor because I have so much to read but I do have audiobooks and I don't have to be outside next week so I can't do it but yeah I ended up just listening to YouTube tonight once I finish Serious Moonlight. So with that I'm gonna sign off. Let me know in the comments how your September has been going. I'm just having so much fun and so thankful that I get to share this crazy time with people. It's been a lot of fun. Let me know what you're hoping to get up to in the last week as well and if you like this video feel free to give it a big thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of this mess feel free to subscribe and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!